I'm John Crawford. I was born in Glasgow. And a very nice house with a good upbringing with two good parents who are artists and photographers who have a lot of passion about life, which made me what I am today. I'm into art because my parents installed goodness in us, showed us skills and made us realise that there's a lot more to life, which I'm really glad for. I was a street artist for six years, raising money, uh, which was sometimes successful and sometimes not. <laughs> it would cost me more to do the image because um, pastels and chalks on a large scale is quite expensive. Uh, so I had to find ways of kind of cheating in a sense and not use the most expensive pastels lay down with the cheap pastels and then do the overlays with the most expensive stuff to highlight it and to make it look decent. Uh, and it was fun and it was interesting, but it was also a good way of meeting people and socialising in life and getting other people to do similar projects. My good friend Rhiannon, her mum married into the Maasai Māori um, tribe and I asked her if she could take some images for me and so she took some black and white and some small coloured images uh, and I got the prints, the prints were very small that I worked from and done my interpretations and this lady she um, made her own tapestry, I love the way they make their own cloths and the, the, the tribal jewellery it's beautiful and they're wonderful people, wonderful culture. I love this photograph or this image that the person took because the children are very interested in some kind of show or something that's going on. And I love the way this one child turned around just as the snap of the camera was going. <laughs> and it's just a beautiful little image. This is one that I enjoyed doing as well of two young boys. Um, they're very brave young kids and that's why I'm trying to raise a bit of money for them because um, often enough they get injured running about. And these boys will uh, have to chase full grown lions away from when the lions are going after their goats because their goats are their livelihood, um, <laughs> which they're very brave. <laughs> yeah. So I've been doing environmental awareness projects, which I think is extremely important. Um, we all have to try and pull together and do something to change the way things are. So I've done a school project with a friend of mine. Great to see passion in the young people. And the young people uh, come and speak their mind. Politicians come to the school to see the children's project. Uh, the children spoke their mind and said this is our future, you're adults, you should know better, no more excuses, what are you going to do about this? Time for change, time for change. And I thought the kids were amazing. So we made a piano project which was basically a large box with environmental issues and UV writing all over and brass and copper all bent and twisted and trumpets and trombones, like steampunk, the smoke coming out of it. <coughs> and then with the, the guy playing keyboard behind it, it was so powerful. It was so wonderful and it was so powerful it would bring tears to your eyes. And I love the way people are passionate about doing these kind of projects. It's, it's inspiring. So it was well worth it, you know. Even if the government don't change, at least we are trying, you know. <laughs>